Good morning everyone, today we're going to go through another set of um, PSLE math prelim paper So uh, let's not waste any time and let's get into it Okay, the first question, question 28 is from paper 1 The letter besides Blake is hanging from a metal bar the last rung is um, the last rung is forty eight cm above the ground. I think they're talking about this, and the last rung is talking about this. <clears throat> um, what is Blake's height? Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna draw relationship is um, since here to here is thirty four cm, it also means that here to here. Right, this line here is also 34 cm okay so we are short of this part here okay in order to find Blake's height so looking at this part over here the 34 cm what we can um, realize is half of it will be here okay and half of it will be 34 divided by 2 okay so 34 divided by 2 will be equal to 17 so this part here is 17 cm which means that here to here Okay, it's also going to be 17 cm. So in order to find um, Blake's height, we just need to add them all together. 48 plus 34 plus 17. Let's um, do our working over here. Okay, 65 plus 34 will be 9 and 9 okay so the answer will be 99 cm okay they want it in meter so it will be 0 0.99 meter <clears throat> okay paper 2 question 1 Anand entered a number into his calculator. He added 11 to the number and then multiplied the number by 22. Finally, he subtracted 48 from the product. In the end, he obtained 70, uh, 766 as the answer. What was the number Anand entered into his calculator? Okay, so in this case, we can um, try to work backwards or we can try to work forward. Let me try and work forward first. He entered a number into a calculator. So we let this number be a certain unknown number. Okay, he added 11 to the number. And then he multiplied the sum by 22, which means that this whole thing, right, you have to multiply it by 22. And finally, he subtracted 48 from the product. In the end, he obtained 766 as the result so we can do a little bit of working backwards right since the final result is 766 and the last thing that he did was to subtract 48 from the product right okay, so basically the product will be equal to 766 plus 48 Okay, let me work this out first. 766 plus 48 is going to give me 814. Okay, and then before that, he uh, multiplied the sum by 22. Okay, which means that if we are to work backwards, we will need to divide it by 22. Dividing 814 by 22 will give me 37. 
Okay, so to find the number, we just need to use uh, 37 minus 11. 37 minus 11. Okay, it's gonna be 26. 26 is the answer. You can use your calculator to work forward to double check and confirm the answer. Question 2. Chef had a total mass of 6.05 kg of flour and sugar. He used 3 quarters of the flour and 1 third of the sugar to make muffins. He had the same amount of flour and sugar left. So the keyword is same amount of flour and sugar left. How much flour did he have at first? So I'm going to write down. Um, okay, so for the flour. Okay, since he used 3 quarter, right? That means what's left will be a quarter. Okay, then as for the sugar. Uh, one third of it was used. Which means that what's left. Okay, is... Two third. Okay, and remember they are the um, same amount, right, for the left. It is the same. So there is a technique which I always use. Um, if you want to make them the same, what you have to do is you just have to make the numerator the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 2, <clears throat> multiply by 2, which will give me 2 over 8. <clears throat> okay, once we have the same numerator, the denominator will basically tell us it tells us like how many units are there. So the flour will be equal to eight units. Okay, the sugar will be equal to three units. Okay, now the question is asking us how much flour did he have at first? So we're gonna write down um 11 unit is 6.05 kg okay i'm gonna find what is uh one unit 6.05 divided by 11 0 0.55 okay then next um i'm gonna find what is eight unit multiply by it will give me four point 4 kg <clears throat> okay so this is the amount of flour that he have at first 4.4 kg will be 4 kg and 400 gram question 3 at an exhibition the ratio of the number of men to the number of women was 10 to 3 Halfway through the exhibition, 110 men left and the number of men was 5 over 12 of the total number of people who remained behind. How many women were there in the exhibition? Okay, so the key thing to solving this question is uh, the woman did not change. Okay, so I'm going to write down the ratio first. At the beginning, man is 2, woman will be... 10 is to 3. Halfway through the exhibition. Okay, 110 men left. So the men were minus 110. <clears throat> And the number of men was 5 over 12 of the total number of people who remain behind, which means that um, this would be 5 to 7. Okay, so in this case, the key thing is, since the woman did not change, we need to make them the same. Okay, so this, um, at first, I need to multiply by 7, and this, in the end, I need to multiply by 3. Multiply by 7 will give me uh, 70 is to 21. 
multiplied by 3 will give me 15 is to 21. Okay, so we can see that um, basically 70 unit <clears throat> minus 15 unit is equals to the 110. Okay, 55 units is equals to 110. So basically, one unit is equal to two. How many women were there at the exhibition? So there's a total of 21 units. Okay, for women, which means that it will be a total of 42 women. Okay, for question four, unfortunately, we can't do it because there's no um, shaded part. So I'm going to skip question four. Question five is a speed distance time question. It's not tested this year for PSLE, but I'm still going to go through it. Okay, at 5.50 p.m., Mr. <clears throat> Diresh left his office to drive 50 km back to his house. He had to pass by a factory and a library. The library was 45 km away from his office. It was exactly in the middle of the factory and his house. It was 6.20 p.m. when he passed by the factory. What was the average speed that he was driving from his office to the factory? Okay, so let's try to um, figure out what's happening. Um, <clears throat> he left his office at 5.50 he aimed to drive back to his house he had to pass by a factory and a library so we do not know where they are library was 45 km away from his office okay so since this whole thing is 50 km gonna um, write it here <clears throat> okay so the library will be probably around here okay 45 kilometer and uh, was exactly in the middle of the factory and the house <laughs> okay which means that uh, the factory should be somewhere here If it is in the middle, this is 5 km, so this is also 5 km. <laughs> okay, and um, it was 6.20 p.m. when he passed by the factory. So over here, 6.20 p.m. Okay, so now let's make some um, update. That means the distance from here to here will be um, 45 minus 5, right? It will be 40 km. Okay, so from uh, 550 to 620. From 550 to 620. Okay, it is basically... <clears throat> 30 minutes so in 30 minutes he traveled a uh, 40 kilometer okay which means that um the average speed that he was driving from his office to the factory in one hour Okay, he will cover a distance of 80 km, right? Which means that the speed at which he is driving at will be 80 km per hour. Okay, question 6. The pie chart is again not tested this year, but I will go through it. Shows different animals adopted by an animal shelter. So what fraction of all the animals adopted were hamsters, so <clears throat> cats is half, 10 over 20, rabbit is 3 over 20.
Okay, so first we need to figure out um, what angle is this part here. Okay, we can do it by um, drawing the relationship from here. Okay, 10 over 20 is equals to 180 degree. Okay, which means that 1 over 20 of it will be equal to 18 degree. Okay, I want to find out what is 3 over 20. 3 over 20 will be 18 times 3. Which is 54 degree. So this part here is 54 degree. And since this whole thing is 90, that means the angle here will be 90 minus 54, which will give me a 36. Okay, so for part A, <clears throat> the fraction will be 36 over 360. Okay, which is 1 over 10. That's the answer for part A. Then for part B, total of 84 cats and hamsters were adopted. How many animals were adopted all together? Okay, so we know that um, hamsters is 1 over 20, right? And cats is 10 over 20. So if we were to use uh, 10 over 20, plus 1 over 10 is going to give me 12 over 20. Okay, 12 over 20, simplest form is 3 fifth. <clears throat> Okay, 3 fifth is basically equal to 84 animals. We just need to find what is 1 fifth. Okay, 84 divided by 3, which is 28. And we're gonna find what is okay, the total animals adopted together, which will be 28 times 5. Okay, 140. So part A is 1 over 10. And part B is 140. <clears throat> Question 7. The table below shows the charges for domestic usage of water. <clears throat> Amount of water used will be um, up to 40 cubic meter is uh, 146 cents per cubic meter. Above 40 cubic meter will be 102 cents per cubic meter. Ng family paid a total of $86.96 in June. How much water did the family use in June? Okay, so we're gonna first uh, find the first 40 cubic meter, how much they pay. Okay, it will be equal to 40 times uh, the 146 cents. I'm going to convert it into $1.46. Okay, so 40 times 1.46 will give me $58.40. Okay, the next step I'm going to subtract away from the total. Fifty-eight forty. <clears throat> so eighty-six point nine six minus away the fifty-eight forty. It will give me twenty-eight dollars and fifty-six cents. <clears throat> okay, the next step. I'm gonna use twenty-eight dollars fifty-six cents divided by the one dollar and two cents. Okay, from here. Divided by 1.02 is going to give me 28. Okay, this 28 is the cubic meter that's used for the above 40. So how much water did the family use? The total amount of water will be 40 plus 
28. <coughs> okay, total will be 68 cubic meter. Okay, question 8 also can't be done because of the shaded part and there's no shaded part, so I'm gonna skip question 8. <coughs> question 9. Party had 180 20 cent coins and some 5 cent coins. 80% of the coins were 5 cent coins. Party used up 75% of the 5 cent coins. What was the total value of the 5 cent coins that she had used up? Okay, so if 80% of the coins were 5 cent, okay, it means that the 20 cent coins is 20%. Okay, so 20% is 80 goes to the 180 coins, so I want to find out what is 80%. Just need to multiply by 4, 180 times 4 give me 720. So this is the number of 27 coins. No, okay, sorry, 5 cent coins. Okay, because 20% is that, yeah, okay. So she used up 75% <clears throat> of it. So now I'm gonna find what is 75% uh, the 725 cent coins. Okay, 540, this is the number of coins used for the 5 cent. So what's the total value of the 5 cent coins that's used up? It will be 540 multiplied by 5 cents. I'm gonna convert it into dollars. Okay, which will give me 27 dollars. Okay, question 10. In the figure below ABC, where is ABC? Here. It's a right angle triangle, that means this should be the 90 degree. All the sides of A, E, F, G are equal. Okay, so all these are. The same. AF, AF is over here. AF and BE are straight lines. Name an isosceles triangle in the figure. So you can either name um AGF or you can name triangle AEF. Okay, these two are isosceles triangles. Okay, find angle B, D, F, B, D, and F. So this angle over here. Okay, so um, the first thing that I can figure out is this angle over here is 90. Okay, because of vertically opposite. So now I'm gonna find what is this angle over here. Okay, angle um, GFD is um, equal to 180 minus 136 divided by 2. That's going to give me 22 degrees, so this angle over here is 22, so which means that now I can find 
the answer. Okay, 360 minus 136 minus 90 and minus 22. That's going to be 112 degree. Which triangle? I'm going to use AEF. And 112. <clears throat> Question 11. The figure below shows the net of an open rectangular box. Find the volume of the box. Okay, so basically we need to find what is the length, the breadth, and the height. I'm going to use um, maybe different colors for it. Okay, the length will be like here. The breadth is already given, 30 cm. Um, I'm going to use green for the height. Okay, the height is basically this part here. <clears throat> okay, we can calculate what is the height because um, this is also the height and if this is 60, right, which means that it would be, um, and, and this is 30. Okay, so 60 minus 30 will give us 30 and 30 divided by 2, I know this is 15. <clears throat> this is 15. Now we are left with the length. Okay, the length we can also calculate it out because over here this is 15. Okay, so to find the length we need to use um 83 minus away 30 <clears throat> and a minus away on 15. Okay, so the length is 38 cm. So to calculate the volume, we just use 38 times 30 times 15. It's 17100 cubic cm. Okay, what do they want it? in okay <clears throat> okay question 12 irene is now 2r years old she is 10 years younger than cursing junita is half the total age of irene and cursing how old is junita now leave your answer in terms of r <clears throat> okay so um i'm gonna write down the age irene Now is 2R years old. She is 10 years younger than Ke Sing, right? So which means that Ke Sing is uh, 2R plus 10. Junita is half the total age of Irene and Ke Sing. So Junita... Okay, their total age is 4R plus 10. Half, that means divide by 2, which means that you'll be 2R plus... Five. Okay, that is the answer for part A. Okay, part B, given that R is equals to 7, what is the total age of the three girls four years ago? I'm going to draw a line here. And I'm going to calculate what's their actual age now. Okay, if, if R is equals to 7, so Irene is 14. <coughs> Um, cursing will be 14 plus 10, which is 24. Okay, Junita will be uh, 14 plus <clears throat> 5, which is 19. Okay, 4 years ago. Okay, Irene will be equal to 10. Cursing will be equal to 20. <clears throat> 
and Junita will be equal to 15. Okay, which means that their total age will be 30 plus 15, which is equals to 45. Okay, this is the answer for this question. Question 13. The bar graph below shows the number of visitors at the museum over 5 months. The two bars that show the number of visitors in May and June have not been drawn. Okay, in May, the number of visitors decreased by 30% from April. There were um, 16,000 fewer visitors in May than in Ju July. Draw the two bars representing the numbers. Okay, so I'm going to uh, remember this in thousand. Write down the number first. This is sixty four thousand. April will be okay. Each one, each gap is a four. So it will be uh forty. Thirty two plus four plus four. Okay, June will be um. Hold on, I, mm, I think this is not 64, it's 68. Because 64 is here, 6 plus 4 is 68, and plus another 4, this is 72. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> In May, the number of visitors decreased by 30% from April, which means that I need to find what is 70% of 40. Okay, so in May, there's 28,000. 28 will be here, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna draw the graph. <clears throat> and add in a bit of shading. Okay, there were um, 16,000 fewer visitors in May than in July. Okay, which means that for July, <clears throat> I need to use 28 plus 16,000. 28 plus 16 will give me 44. <clears throat> 44 is probably here. Okay, I should write down the number 44 and 28. Part B, write down all the months in which there were at least 44,000 visitors. <clears throat> so those with at least 44,000 will be um, March, June, and July. Um, just gonna write it here. Okay, question 14. In the figure below, QRST is a rectangle. So QRST, <clears throat> MNPL, MNPL is a parallelogram. RUV is an equilateral triangle. So all these are <clears throat> the same. Okay, so the first thing I need to find is um, angle URQ. U R Q. So this angle over here. <clears throat> and I need to find M L R. Okay, 
okay, this angle over here. Okay, so since this is equilateral triangle, so I know what is this angle over here. This angle will be um, 60 minus 37, which will give me 23. Okay, and then since this angle over here is a 90 degree, so 90 minus uh, 23 will give me a uh, 67 degree. Okay, so for the, uh, the answer for part A will be 67 degree. Okay, now I need to find <coughs> MLR. This angle here is 105. <coughs> Okay, I can first find out what is this angle here. Um, angle RPL is equals to 180 minus 71, <clears throat> which is uh 109. Okay, so this is 109. Which means that I can find this angle over here. So angle RL RLP is 180 minus 109 minus 23, which is 48. Okay, since um, the M and PL is a parallelogram, so the opposite angles are the same. This whole angle here is 101. So to find the answer for part B, um, MLR is equals to 101 minus 48. Okay, which is 53 degree. Question 15. Ivana has a hundred and eighty-six, sorry, hundred and eighty-nine dollars and Jenny has ninety-three dollars at the end of January. Starting from February, Ivana saves four dollars every week and Jenny saves ten dollars every week. Jenny wants to have the same amount of money as Ivana. How many weeks does Jenny need to save so that she will have the same amount of money as Ivana? Okay, so we need to find out what is the gap in which they need to catch up. So, Ivana has $189, right? And um, Jenny has um, $3, so which means that the gap, right? The difference or rather, $189 minus $93 is $96. Okay, so what she uh, save? This is um save. <clears throat> so Ivana saves um four dollars. Jenny saves um ten dollars. So which means that um every week they will catch up by. Six dollars. Okay, so to find the number of weeks, we just need to use the gap divided by the weekly increase. 96 divided by 6, that will give me um, 16 weeks. Okay, that is the answer for A part 1. What is this total amount of money Jenny will have? So since they have the same amount, I can use <clears throat> either one. 16 weeks times $10 weekly 
last uh, the $93 that we have at the beginning. <clears throat> so it'd be 160 plus 93. Okay, $253. Okay, but B, Jenny wants to have $120 more than Ivana. How much money will Ivana have? <clears throat> okay, so we need to find out how many more weeks does it take for Jenny to have $120 more than Ivana. I'm gonna do part B here. So the first step is I need to use $120 divided by 6. Okay, that will give me 20 weeks. How much money will Ivana have? So in um, 20 weeks, okay, Ivana will save $80. Okay, and then um, 253 plus 80 is basically what uh, the amount of money Ivana have. Okay, three, three, three. So the answer is a uh, sixteen, two, five, three, and three, three, three. Question sixteen. Matthias spent one week to read a book. He read some pages every day, starting on Monday. On Monday, the ratio of the number of pages read to the number of pages not read was 1 is to 6. Okay, after he had read another 120 pages on Tuesday, 70% of the book was not read. The rest of the week, he read the same number of pages every day. <clears throat> How many pages did Matthias read every day for the rest of the week? Okay, so um, on Monday, um, the, the ratio of the number of pages read, that means he read okay, one unit and um, that is unread, not read, okay? Is five units. On Tuesday, he read another 120 pages. Okay, 70% of the book was not read. So, uh, not read will be 70%. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, we're going to find what is, um, let us let the total be equal to 6 units. Okay, so on, on Tuesday, if 70% of the book was not read, that means 30% of the book was read. So I'm going to find what is 30% of 6 units. Okay, 3 over 10 times 6 is going to give me 1.8 unit. Okay, if Monday uh, 1 unit was read and Tuesday is 1.8 unit, which means that the 0 0.8 unit minus away the 1 unit okay is equals to the 120 pages which is red <clears throat> okay 0 0.8 unit is 120 pages so um, I'm gonna find what is 1 unit and after that I'm gonna proceed on to find what is 6 units <clears throat> So um, 120 divided by 0 0.8 and then after that times 6. Okay, it's going to be 900 pages. Okay, after he had read another 120 pages on Tuesday, 70% of the book was not read. 
for the rest of the week he read the same pages every day okay i'm gonna find what is um 70 percent of the 900 pages okay it's gonna be 630 pages okay for the rest of the week he read the same number of pages every day <clears throat> that means um the rest of the week that's five days right because it's um wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday so the last step will be to use 630 divided by five okay one two six page how many pages did <clears throat> Mateus read every day for the rest of the week so the answer is one to six pages every day okay question 17 at a camp mr sito arranged the pupils into four equal groups of boys and five equal groups of girls in every group of girls the number of girls was five more than the number of boys in each group three over eight of all the pupils at the camp were boys how many pupils were there all together at the camp okay so in this question i'm gonna draw a model first starting from um here in every group of girls okay the number of girls was five more that means if i were to draw a model right it would look something like is five more for the girls compared to the boys in each group okay so the pupils were arranged into four equal groups of boys that means the boys um if let's say this is the one unit right so the boys i need to draw four groups Okay, as for the girls, there will be a uh, five equal groups, so it'll be one, three, four, five. Okay, so remember in each group it will be a dot, there's a five here. Five here, five here, and a five here. Okay, and it will be one unit, one unit, one unit, and one unit. Mm, okay, so the next thing we need to realize is okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna convert this model into units. Okay, so basically the girls will be a total of one, two, three, four, five. Five units plus of uh, 25, right? Okay, and then for the boys will be four units. Okay, and then um three over eight of all the pupils at the camp were boys. Okay, which means that this is Three of eight. Okay, and the girls will be five over eight. How many pupils were there all together at the camp? Okay, so we can uh we can treat this as like uh five parts. And this will be three parts okay then from here we can do the um, cross multiplying method okay so i'm going to multiply uh the five unit plus 25 by three okay three times five unit plus 25 
Okay, so this will give me um, 15 parts, right? Okay, that will be equal to the 4 times, sorry, the 5 parts times the 4. Okay, so which means that 15 units plus 75 is equal to 20 units. <clears throat> um, write the U here. Okay, so I know that 5 units is equal to 75. <clears throat> okay, from here I can uh, find what is 1 unit. Once you can find what is 1 unit, let's go back to the question. The question is asking us to find how many pupils were there all together at the camp. Okay, so 1 unit is, is equal to 75 divided by 5 which is 15. Okay, and remember all together is this part over here, right? All together there's uh, 9 unit plus 25. So first thing I'm gonna find is what is 9 units. 15 times 9 which will give me 135. Okay, and then the last that will be 135 plus 25 Okay, that'll be 160 Okay, so we've come to the end of the paper